actual count, the census count, in 2020, and it turns out, no, we actually gained population in Illinois. So I don't trust the surveys, but I do trust the actual count of people. Um, I'm really sh- shocked that uh, J.B. Fritzker is a population denier. You know, the even more data coming out showing that Illinois continues to lose population. Welcome back. It is Illinois in Focus. I'm Greg Bishop with you daily. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell with America's Talking Network so you can be updated when we go live with our daily reporting. Uh, So if you go to thecentersquare.com, you'll see that there's been a lot of reporting over the years about Illinois' population decline, a decade of decline. We've seen numbers from the U.S. Census. We lost a congressperson uh, in the most recent census and uh, year after year after year for 10 years straight of uh, annual population decline. Uh, In some years it was 10,000, other years it was 30,000, other years it was 110,000. But regardless, the overall official census count had Illinois losing population. That's why we lost a seat in Congress. But Governor J.B. Pritzker, when asked about this time and again, uh, and I've pulled up uh, the record here, uh, he's denied population decline. Uh, and we'll hear some of his comments over the past uh, year and a half or so uh, about you know being asked of Illinois losing population. But it's not just the census data. We now have IRS migration data that was released uh, recently highlighting the uh, population shifts within the country. Uh, and I pulled up the, uh, the, the outflow, the inflow, and we're going to go through these numbers together uh, just so you can get a sense of what exactly this spreadsheet spells out. So uh, I'm going to pull this up and get out the calculator and uh, we're going to review this together. Uh, so uh, you've got uh, the, the, the 2022 um, latest data from the IRS. This is, this is data that uh, spells out how many tax returns there are. Right. So another indication of population, how many tax returns are filed in one state and another state. And they even break down maybe where some of the the states are uh, population are shifting to other states or if they're moving out of the country or if people are moving into the state or moving into the country. Uh, But if you look at the uh, the the total migration numbers here uh, from Illinois, this is just Illinois. All right. So I'm going to pull this up and get this squared up so we can uh, run some of these numbers. Uh, through the calculator to give you an idea of uh, where we're at. So the bottom line here is that uh, more than 80,000 people filed (laughs) tax returns in other states, essentially. I mean, that's the bottom line here. Uh, But let's take a look at this Illinois total migration, U.S. and foreign. So we're going to just go with this number, total number of returns, uh, total number of individuals. We'll go here. All right. So this is the state outflow. This is the number of people going out, the number of individuals going out. Uh, And uh, if you take that number, uh, 264,239, but look at the inflow, what do you get? Same number set here. Uh, You've got uh, 176,953. Total number of individuals. This is IRS data, internal revenue. All right. (laughs) Uh, The internal revenue service data. People who are filing tax returns. So let's let's enter these numbers here. 176. This is the total number of people that uh, came to Illinois. 176,953. And then we're going to subtract that by the total number of people moving out of the state. So again, 264,239. And we'll add this up here live with you as we are uh, ca- crunching these numbers. Uh, So you have uh, the total number of inflow, 176, almost 177,000. And then the total number of outflow, which you would subtract that from that number. uh, It's uh, 264,239. And you get 87,000 people who moved out of the state. At least filed in other states. 87,000 people. This is not the census data. This is IRS migration data. So from 2021 to 2022... 87,286 people fewer in Illinois than in other states. Uh, And what you see here, too, is the outflow. You can break this down and actually look uh, at uh, all the states that are getting people from Illinois. Uh, And uh, obviously, Florida, Texas, Indiana, California, Wisconsin, a lot of these states getting more people. Where are people moving in to Illinois from? They're moving from California, Indiana, Florida, uh, but more people moved out than moved in. 
Another interesting number set here is uh, let's look at adjusted gross income. All right. So 9.5. What is that billion? I believe. Let me just double check here. Yeah. So it's uh, in thousands of dollars. So this is 9.5 billion in total adjusted gross income. That's the state inflow. So that's how much money the state brought in from outside of states. Uh, you look at the state outflow and it's 19.4 billion. So almost $10 billion difference there of uh, adjusted gross income, almost $10 billion. So another set of numbers showing population leaving the states and their tax dollars leaving the states. So $10 billion leaving the state of Illinois. Uh, Governor Pritzker over the past year and a half has been asked about population decline. Here he is way back in April of last year uh, being asked about population decline at an unrelated event at Northwestern University. You know, we all talked about the exodus from the state of Illinois, which I want to contend to you. Some of that data was wrong. We saw uh, they do a survey year after year called the American Community Survey, and it said that you know, hundreds of thousands of people were leaving every year. And then we did an actual count, the census count, in 2020, and it turns out, no, we actually gained population in Illinois. So I don't trust the surveys, but I do trust the actual count of people. And then the governor uh, went on to talk about how uh, the people who were leaving Illinois were college-age students graduating high school, and they would go to a different state. And he said that they are reversing that with new grant dollars for education. We're beginning to see as a result of some of the stats I just gave you the freshman classes entering uh, the enrollment entering classes in colleges all across the state are going up for the first time in quite some time and it's a result of we're getting past COVID and the resources that we put into MAP grants and the resources we've sent directly to universities so are the governor continued to talk about education funding and how he says that that's going to reverse the trend uh, but uh, even after that, in May, more data came out about population decline. It's not just the census data. It's not just the IRS migration data. It's even moving company data that has Illinois amongst the top states people are moving out of. Back in May of last year, I asked the governor about population decline. That's not census data, just to be clear, right? A census county, is done. Data. Yeah, fair it enough. Was county and, level we data did, released. We did not lose uh, at population, time. as you saw when the Census Bureau data came through for the 2020 census. Um, we actually gained population. Uh, especially as they looked more closely after the initial announcements at what happened state to state. Uh, so I'm pleased about that. I think the American survey, uh, American community survey data is a little more suspect, uh, as you know, and clearly miscounted Illinois population over the years leading up to the actual counting of people during the census. And it continues to be inaccurate in its count. And he even went and several uh, Democratic leaders from Illinois went to the U.S. Census and complained about the numbers, saying, no, we've grown in population despite showing a decade of decline and uh, the 10-year census showing fewer people in Illinois than 10 years prior. Uh, well, the governor again brought this up in August of last year after being asked by a student at a uh, conversation, a fireside chat that he had at a university, and the governor continued to deny population loss. Well, we did a census in 2020. Turns out all the American Community Survey data, wrong. We gained population in the state of Illinois in the census of 2020. So now what am I supposed to say? Every year the Republicans, the right wing, cites the American Community Survey data. You, you just cited some from last year um, that says that we're losing population when the reality is that we didn't over the last 10 years when the American Community Survey said we did. So uh, I, I would just say our economy has grown from $800 million to over a trillion dollars in the last couple of years. Um, we, are, we have jobs uh, available. In fact, we have about 85,000 more jobs available in the state of Illinois right now than we have you know, uh, uh, people who can fill those jobs. And, and again, uh, th that's from August of last year with the governor uh, being asked about community survey data. It's not just the census data. It's not just the annual estimations from the census. It's not just the uh, American Community Survey. It's not just the uh, moving data from moving companies like U-Haul. It's also the IRS data that's highlighted here. 
And the most recent data showing that from 2021 to 2022, 86,000 people left the state of Illinois, and with them, they took almost $10 billion in uh, tax money uh, with them. Uh, so it's a collection of all of these different data points that are highlighting Illinois' continued population decline. Uh, my uh, colleague Katrina Peterson last month asked the governor about the continued reports of population decline, and here's how the governor reacted to that question. So um, to disabuse you and many others of uh, a, a misimpression, uh, there is, as you know, every 10 years, a census that gets done. That's where people's doors get knocked on. People and he are... continued to talk about the community survey data and how he and other Democratic leaders went to the uh, U.S. Census to complain about it and said, hey, these cities uh, are also complaining about it within Illinois, saying that you guys got the numbers wrong. And uh, the governor talked about how the census did come back and revised their numbers. And they believed us. And they went around and looked at the cities in the state that applied. We had a group of cities who kind of went to the Census Bureau and said, this is wrong. We're seeing more people than you are. And what did they do? They upped the numbers, the population numbers for each of those cities that were part of that application. So it's clear there's something wrong with the ACS data. And I know you guys keep reporting that we're losing population based upon that inaccurate data. But you should take what I'm saying as truth, that actually when we count people, it turns out we're gaining population. Again, it's not just the uh, American Community Survey data uh, that we're reporting on. We're reporting on the annual estimates. We're reporting on the uh, estimates of counties in Illinois losing population that's released. We're also looking at the um, Internal Revenue Service data showing, again, uh, 86,000 or so fewer people taking with them $10 billion. And that's been consistent from year to year to year to year as well uh, as the, the total numbers of people leaving the state. So uh, looking at all this data here and the government Governor, uh, still seeming to deny that state representative Chris Miller uh, recently said that uh, the governor's got an issue here. I'm really sh shocked that uh, J.B. Fritzker is a population denier. You know, the reason the, one of the biggest drivers for people leaving the state is uh, over taxation, over regulation, the tyranny of what they've done with the individual tax, business tax, real estate tax. You know, when people are fleeing because of that, plus out of control inflation here, not only here, but everywhere right now because of the Biden Pritzker policies. And so there's a lot of easy, easy answers to these problems. But the first thing that you have to do is to admit that you have a problem and admit that your policies have created this mess. So uh, Chris Miller, uh, a little um concerned about uh, what he says is Governor J.B. Pritzker being a population denier. Obviously, uh, questions about that will persist as more data comes out. Bottom line today is the latest IRS data showing that uh, Illinois lost 86,000 plus individuals and with them $10 billion roughly of gross domestic product. It is Illinois in Focus Daily. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell at America's Talking Network and wake up with us each and every weekday morning for live coverage of what you need to know to get your day started. America's Talking Network with Illinois in Focus Daily and the Center Square.